basic random sort here. In this video, we are going to understand customer self onboarding in Gaiman software. Okay. So you can see Gaiman software can be accessed using a different website also. Okay. Which is like your website. So uh, the front is going to be your website and the back end is going to be Gaiman software. Alright. So you can quickly see in this demo how uh, customer can log in and uh, provide the details and apply for the mode. All right. So let's get started. So using your website, you know, customer can click on new registration and then enter the name and enter the name here and then mobile number. Okay. And this is going to be your agreement your company agreement for your customer or borrower. Register to apply here. Once I click register, message will be sent to the borrower on their mobile phone. Uh, you click register. Uh, actually, you can see here this message is received and the password is 5045. Okay. So, Customer is logged in now and we are asking five steps to complete the onboarding procedure. Okay. Now customer customer can jump for any uh, stuff here except apply load because before applying load, customer has to do uh, fill the details and you can set up a view in general software of uh, what conditions you want to apply before uh, before borrower is going to apply for the loan. Okay. So for personal details, I'm just quickly filling the form here. Okay. Email ID and so I can just keep it blank and I click save. Here. You can also set up certain rules whether what Fields you want to make mandatory for customers, so you can set up that too. Then second, upload document. You can decide what documents you want to get uploaded by the customer. You can also decide for that specific document whether you want to make a document um, mandatory or not. So you can also have, you can ask customer to upload document or upload information without document. You can also define this from your admin panel, which I'll explain after that. And then upload. So here customer will see that document is uploaded. And in case customer is making mistake, uh, provision is given their customer can see the, the documents uploaded by them and they can delete the document but once it is uh, uh, verified by admin or by your staff then they cannot delete the document okay delete is provided so that they can re-upload re document in case any mistake is done and last step is apply load here uh, this is the product screen Actually, borrower will come to know what product scheme uh, you have provided. You can give any unique name to your product scheme. And this amount, also you can define what is the range of amount based on the customer parameters and the documents uploaded. And here, again, it will be an agreement, your agreement. You can define a specific agreement for the loan purpose and apply loan. Now, loan is applied successfully. Okay, this message. Uh, I'll check whether why it is showing invalid message here. And so now, if customer will come back here, customer will come to know that uh, this is the information of the loan applied. Now, trainer zero week because that is the specific product scheme we have created there. That's why it's just a new product scheme created. Let me sign out from here and log in from the admin now. So if I go in admin, I was telling like uh, the document list I can define from here 
So in case if you want to define any other document, you can do that here. You can also set automate or manual mode. Automate means the documents will be verified automatically using the APIs of the system. Then the loan applied by the borrower, it will come here as a new request. You can click here and probably change the status of the loan and change status. Okay. So you can see that SMS will be sent immediately uh, once you change the status of the loan. So I can also show what sort of messages going to the borrower. You can see here the specific name of the customer and then your loan status is as well. You can change the text message as per your requirement. It, you can configure it. So you can configure any messages from the master setup setting. From email setting, you can configure the email messages. And from setting, you can configure the uh, other messages. Here you can also have flexibility to take the printout like agreement and other stuff. You can email the agreement to the borrower. They can sign and upload uh, from their system itself. No need to, I mean, there's no need to like they are going to send you, then you are going to upload it and all that stuff. That is not required. They can upload from their system itself and that document list they can quickly access from here itself. For example, uh, I can search customer. I created multiple accounts for the customer, so you can see up here whatever documents they are uploading, you can view those documents here. Right. So, loan approval. Once loan approved, and I can click here and then disperse it. You can also have a option to disperse auto payout so that from your account to borrower's account direct transfer using payout system or you can also disperse manually so I click disperse manually so loan is paid successfully SMS sent so let's see what message sent and the loan number is 5 let's try to access this loan number the double loan actually which is created so this is not correctly created let me delete this loan first and let me create a proper product screen for the customer so let me create a product screen that uh, And this loan, let's say for 24 months. Okay. And uh, I just click save. And let me delete this loan because it is created just for testing purpose. Okay. Now I sign up from here and I go back to customer login. Customer can still apply loan. It's approved, then I can just go ahead and print out this manual. Okay, then we print out. So, for every stage, every step you take, uh, your borrower will get a message actually. Okay, which is a good part because your borrower will come to know the status of the loan. Actually, you can see in the messages sent on every 
transactions or every updates we are doing actually and this is this will give a transparency to your borrower which will create a good brand in uh, your company brand in the market also that this is very transparent and uh, and actually gives a proper message to the customer whether it is like approved or rejected or additional information required whatever it is okay so what we can do now we can try and access so let me see if it is done okay so loan number 5 okay so we can see here now loan is created for 24 months all right now what will happen to the customer borrower side so let's try to log in from borrower side and the borrower can see basically that uh, uh, all the details and how much to pay so borrower has to pay this much amount borrower needs to be pay now okay and it will be redirected to payment gateway and then borrower can just quickly pay to this account here you can get your company logo also and once uh, and there are multiple options to pay here all right and once i pay it will get automatically it will get automatically adjusted in your loan in the borrower's loan so no need to do any manual entries or anything it will get automatically reflected so if i had paid if uh, i have paid so using that payment gateway service we have been deposited here so like this that you can see and we are also sms sent uh, you can decide what are all messages you want to send to the borrower or not and uh, what will happen you can just see installment tracker one installment is it and you can see in transaction it will pay you whatever the amount whatever the balance uh, from the transaction so it will tell you that this much balance is paid and if you want to see what message is saying uh, if amount is received you can quickly check over here dear customer name amount that much amount of loan is received back there so it will keep updated uh, to the customer no need to have manual effort if you are using uh, denim software starting from customer onboarding till end to end management there is no manual effort to, uh, involved here it's almost i would say to the extreme stage automation is done and a digital integration also done okay thank you so much for watching this video and uh, please subscribe to genuine software channel so that uh, you will be getting uh, more updates in future all right thank you so much